Hi, I'm Dennis Kameri. Get ready, it's time for Sunday Afternoon Football. Today we've trekked to the University of Tasmania. It's great to be back in Launceston, where it seems like the only thing that grows here is the crime rate. Matthew Richardson is my comrade in the box for this match. Welcome, Richo. Thanks, Dennis. Expecting some really special stuff out here today. A practice match on the bill today as these two sides test each other out. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The battle looks great and everything is spelled correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. The home team comes onto the ground and the crowd erupts. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The battle looks great and everything is spelled correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. We have the toss of the coin. Greater Western Sydney winning the toss. I can't wait for this encounter to begin, and I think the crowd would agree with me too. They're on the edge of their seats. Anticipation is high, players are ready, and the game is underway. You don't always get what you wish for, you get what you work for. Tomlinson with a short hand pass. Chips it down towards half forward. Controlled by Patton. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato, quickly disposed of by Cameron. Chalk up a goal for Greater Western Sydney. He sinks his first goal. He's kicked the first goal. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Lob. Timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Zebel puts his head down and runs in. Brown gets the upper hand. Almost in bad from this position, you would think. Brown hammers the ball for goal. North Melbourne are on the ball. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Goldstein is just ridiculously consistent. I'd like to see a clanger from him for a change. When coaches have someone like him in the lineup, they can just sleep a lot easier knowing how reliable he is. Puts boot to ball. Lob marks the ball. Sending it on its way. Green with real good use of the body. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. He's on a 30 degree angle. Cameron taking a chance at goal. Gets the distance. Cameron kicks his first. Where to Western Sydney with only a one goal lead. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Good tap from Goldstein. Wait is able to grab it on the half volley. Ball up in the centre square. He taps it. Whitfield gathers the ball, sending it on its way. It's a mark. He kicks the ball. He gets it under pressure. Jams it on the boot now. Nice contested mark by White. 40 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. So close, but just to behind. The lead is easily in reach for North Melbourne. Davis to bring it in, plays onto himself, gets boot to leather, Williams takes the mark uncontested, gets some power behind that one, marked by Kelly, kicked in a flurry, stuck the mitts out and held onto it, picture perfect drop punt. Somehow found more room on the boundary than Wayne Harms, well he tried and he failed, we'll have a throw in, the throw is accurate. Goldstein wins the tap. Terrible timing by Glob. Ball up on the outer side wing. Cleanly tapped out of the ruck. And the ball goes out of play. He clears the ball. Rovat with a clean kick up. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. Zebul puts his boot on it. He claims the ball. Kicks beyond the wing. Takes it well. 
slams it on the boot. Goldstein got under it. Sends the Sharon on its way. The ball is on the ground and it's picked up by Wade. Lobb. Mark's on the run. Lobb got a really good footballing brain. Shield with a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Goldstein with real good use of the body. Sending it on its way. McDonald takes a contested mark. He slams that on the boot. He marks the ball. Picks it. And that ball is out of bounds. The Rucks are going at it. Long. Try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from the guy wearing makeup. He picks it up. Cleanly picked up. Jacobs, a good drummer, puts boot to ball. The loose ball picked up by Payne's. Davis picks it up. Brown can get a job done for his team by tightening the reins on the key playmakers for the opposition. Zebul shoots for goal. The Kangaroos in the lead now. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Tap to advantage. The loose ball picked up. The umpire to ball it up. Effective hit out there. The loose ball picked up. And we have a ball up. Long. Didn't even get close to that tap. Whitfield running in, about to kick. Thompson has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. A nice uncontested mark for Tower. Boots it. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. 50 minutes from home. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. Unfortunately, placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Chips it down towards half forward. A mark by White. Slams it on the boot. Pointless attempt by Williams. He controls the bouncing ball. Goldstein without a touch. The clearance by Glob. He controls the bouncing ball. He picks up the loose ball. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Clean tap by Glob. Picked up under pressure. Well, despite his best efforts, he can't keep it in play any longer. Both Ruckman standing their ground. Good tap from Goldstein. He runs into the goal. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Tomlinson shoots off the handball. Off the ground. Goldstein must have amazing intuition because he can react so fast to situations, it's as though he's had premonitions. Umpire calls for the ball. Hit by Glob. Lucky bounds collected. Tarrant has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. He hits it. Passes by hand. Zebul kicks it. And the ball crosses over the boundary. We'll get a ball in. Goldstein really gets onto this one. The ball in the hands of Cunnington. A great effort. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines this shot up. Going for goal number two. Chalk up a goal for the Kangaroos. The Kangaroos by seven points. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Long with first hands to the ball. Goldstein onto the ball. Tomlinson chucks the ball away. Payne's there to mop it up. Clean pick up by Scully. Well, a high tackle count more often than not suggests that the team with the most tackles are where the ball isn't, and that's been true for the Giants. Wait, with the kick, he takes a strong mark, puts boot to ball. It's been intercepted by the opposition. You heard the umpire, free kick. He slams that on the boot, he grabs it. Kicks it. Cunnington claims the ball. Boots it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Hand kicks. Nice contested mark by Tomlinson. Chip kick along the wing. Green has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Long with the mark. Puts boot to ball. What a strong mark. Gets the ball on the boot. Green. He boots it. He's missed the goal. Greater Western Sydney will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. Thompson got a really good footballing brain. He gets boot to the ball. 
He marks the ball, lining it up with the goal now. Green kicks it. Hopper takes the mark. This kick could see the scores level. Thompson marks it. Kicks. Clark grabs that one. Pulling kick out of the defensive 50. Log wins the marking contest. Sends it on its way. Hopper got under it. A rush kick. Nice contested mark by Green. Gets the ball on the boot. He's a ball magnet. Tarrant gets it out of the congestion. Jams it on the boot. Takes control of the ball. Takes control of the ball. Can he do it? He takes the shot. Unbelievable. That's his first. The Kangaroos lead by two goals. Great. He's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Brown got the hit out. The bouncing ball is controlled. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Hit by Lobb. He gathers the loose ball. Jams it on the boot now. Border control will be keen to look at this trafficking. Well, despite his best efforts, he can't keep it in play any longer. Lobb taps it. Patton. And the umpire says, we'll have a ball up. Brown. He picks up the loose ball. Let's go to the stats sheet now and see how the players perform. Gee, it's a hot encounter out there in the... And we're back at it. Football doesn't build character, it reveals it. Goldstein got a fist on it, controlled by Tomlinson. Coniglio slams it on the boot. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Long. Misses the goals. The Giants won't be too nervous yet. They can still turn this around. Thompson is just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Goldstein decisively. He's heading for home. The umpire says, give it to me. Tapped by Long. He controls the bouncing ball. Cunnington under the ball. And we have a ball up. Log wins the tap. Terrible timing by Goldstein. Handballs from the tackle. Jams it on the boot. Marks. Wait. He's a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. McMillan with the kick. It's a mark. Zebul kicks it. It's a mark. He gets boot to the ball. Higgins going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short. Tactically, this will. And he's heading for home. That's a very well executed goal. That's three in a row for the Kangaroos. North Melbourne by 17. Wait, he's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. McDonald with the football. Sends the Sharon on its way. Wood taking aim. 50 metres from home. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. That shot wasn't meant to hit the fan. Out on the full. Way to Western Sydney. Free kick. Kicks hurriedly. Jacobs the better man there. Not the easiest of angles this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. The Kangaroos could score the last four goals. North Melbourne in front. Jacobs is pretty handy around goal. He just has that sixth sense of knowing where the goals are at all times. Delidio getting into position for the kick. Gets boot to high. He couldn't hang on. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Shield puts it on the boot. Good mark by Cameron. Going for goal number two. The Giants are in real trouble now. 
The Kangaroos have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time, so they haven't been hurt on the turnover, and that's why they're on track to win this match. Definitely palmed to advantage. He controls the bouncing ball. Cameron gets it out of the crowd, and he's heading for home. Gets the distance. Greater Western Sydney won't be happy to see that scoreboard. The Giants could have been really predictable out there. They need to mix it up, break the line, start taking more of a chance, or this game will be lost. That play is as high-tech as it can for The umpire wants to ball it up. He taps it. He picks up the loose ball. Zeeble has the football. Coniglio with the kick. Hopper marks it. He gets boot to the ball. He gets the upper hand. Cameron aiming for the goals. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. Alarm bells are sounding for the Giants. Thompson has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Clean pick up by Green. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. He's been outstanding all match, Dan. Big trouble for Greater Western Sydney. They need to kick a few now. Thompson to bring it in. Delivio gets the upper hand. 25 metres out. Delivio drives the ball towards goal. The Giants are on the ropes right now. The Kangaroos have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time, so they haven't been hurt on the turnover. And that's why they're on track to win this match. It's been cut off. Patton, you beauty. GWS patrolling. Ruttman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Lob with the mighty fist. Wood covers some ground with that effort. Wood is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Whitfield got under it. Kicks it across the ground. Nice mark there. 40 meters out. Cameron with a pretty easy kick. Going for goal number two. Look at that. He's put it through. That's two in a row for the Giants. Less than a goal the difference. The Giants still in with a chance. Long with the tap. Cameron sticks out his hands and collects the ball. I can already tell that's not too good. He's injured. No way he'll come back after an injury like that one. There'll be a ball up in the center square. A good hit out there. He gets the loose ball. The umpire to ball it up. Goldstein knocks it down the field. He takes control of the loose ball. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Clean tap by Goldstein. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Kelly sends the ball on its way. Wood with the mark. Ward always has the ball on a string. Good mark. He boots it. That's a nice strong mark. He boots it. Tarrant really forced to earn that mark. He boots it. That play is as high-tech as it can for him. Green onto the ball. Choose to kick it. Nice work from Patton. 30 metres out. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. That's three in a row for the Giants. The Giants goes back into the lead. Goldstein directs it down. Is in his possession. Zeeble. He's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Coniglio gets the loose ball. Ball up in the center square. Clean tap out of the ruck. McDonald with a kick out of the pack. A great effort. 50 meters out. This kick to see the Kangaroos take the lead. Fantastic goal by Wade. He's giving all he's got this match. That's number three. Wade may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Goldstein really gets onto this one. Coniglio may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Goldstein is a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Cunnington kicks it. Higgins marks it. Puts boot to ball. It's a mark. He kicks the ball. Wait with a strong mark. 
choose to kick it. Marx. Good as this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Going for goal number one. Goal for Cunnington. The Kangaroos by seven points. All is in readiness. Goldstein got a fist on it. He collects the loose ball. Tomlinson collects it. Payne picks up the loose ball. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Goldstein knocks it down the field. The loose ball picked up. McDonald gathers it. McDonald feeds it wide. Wood got under it. Wood is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal in the side. He misses the mark. He runs for the goal. Hits the ball on the boot. North Melbourne leads by 13. All is in readiness. Goldstein can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. That's a nice strong mark. He lines it up with the goal. Deledio goes for goal. Deledio, wonderful goal. All is in readiness. Goldstein knocks it down the field. The ball in the hands of Kelly. Hits the running man. Approaching the goals now. Suckers the ball away. Nice work from Patton. The fans are really getting their money's worth. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Cleared by Davis. He gets his hands on the footy. Tarrant gets the ball. Cameron runs past and gets the ball. Approaching the goals now. Hopper will be upset with that. Collected by Green. He runs into the goal. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. They could take the lead here. Oh, you beauty. What a kick, son. What a kick. Where the Western Sydney take the lead. The Ladio. He's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Goldstein taps it. Wait, made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. I haven't seen him for a while, Richard. That's right, Dennis. He just can't seem to get into this game. Davis, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Now we've got a ball up. Goldstein with the hit. The ball mopped up. Gathered by Kelly. I can already tell that's not too good. He's injured. I think the doctor will be taking a close look at that one. Kelly has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. North Melbourne trail. Kennedy looking for a lead. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Kicking to steal the lead. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. The Kangaroos trail by less than a goal. Kennedy to bring it in. He kicks it to himself. Slams it on the boot. Williams gets the upper hand. Sends the Sharon on its way. Shield marks it. Shield sends one up towards the wing. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Hit by Cool. Snatches at it and drops it. He's as twitchy as a frog in a blender. The umpire will launch it in from the boundary. The Ruckman hard at it. Goldstein with the hit. Richo, how well are these teams performing? I'm not sure how, but the Giants are in front on the scoreboard. The players have taken to the ground looking refreshed and they're ready, so let's get the third term going. They struggled throughout the first half, but there's still a half a game to go. Scoops up the ball. Chips it down towards half forward. Great grab. Trims the grass with that one. Ward has it. Ward must have amazing intuition because he can react so fast to situations, it's as though he's had premonitions. Cameron with real good use of the body. He boots it. Hopper claims the ball. 45 metres out. Hopper launches one towards goal. Goes wide for a behind. Just a few points the difference. Thompson looking for a lead. 
He knocks the ball across the line. Green, urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick. The ball is stuck towards goal by Green. Gets the behind. Greater Western Sydney by five points. Thompson looking for a lead. Plays on. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. The ball heads out of bounds. The umpire will toss it back in. The ball has been thrown in. Claimed by Glob. The bouncing ball is controlled. A Roback threading the needle right there. The ball spills to Goldstein. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Bumps the pigskin. Green has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Ward has so much potential. He could just be anything. He kicks the ball. That's a nice strong mark. Cameron takes a shot. A one goal advantage for the Giants. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Puts boot to ball. Dropped by Manford. Very quiet by his standards. Puts the head down as he runs in. Perfect kick. Three goals and a fine display from Delinio. That's three in a row for Greater Western Sydney. Two goals up for Greater Western Sydney. Clean tap by Goldstein. Zebel has the ball. Coniglio, a good crummer. Lob with the ball. Chips it down towards half forward. Good mark by Cameron. 50 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. Chalked up a goal for the Giants. The Giants could score the last four goals. Ominous signs for the Giants. Three goals up now. Clean tap by Goldstein. The ball in the hands of Ward. He grabs it on the run. He's running hot, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Kicked by Chiel. Long gets the upper hand. A long way out. The ball is slammed towards goal by Long. He had perfect control over the ball right up until the minute he kicked it. The Giants with a healthy gap on the scoreboard leading North Melbourne 76 to 57. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, North Melbourne might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. Might have to kick it to himself. Hopper gets the upper hand. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. A chance to add one more to his tally. Way to Western Sydney with a healthy gap on the scoreboard leading the Kangaroos 78 to 57. Hopper knows he needs to hang on to them. He hand passes the ball. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. Hopper puts them further in front. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Long. Try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from the guy wearing makeup. Border Control will be keen to look at this trafficking. Gives it to Cool. My goodness, the wee ball has gone so high, there'll be snow on that one when it comes down. It's a good throw in. Lob without a touch. The clearance by Goldstein. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. Ward on the ball at the moment. Approaching the goals now. A good mark under the circumstances. 30 metres from home. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. He's having a ball. If you'll excuse the pun. Delidio getting his fourth right there. This kick puts them further into the lead. Deledio has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Goldstein gets the tap. Wade controls it. He runs for home. Choose to kick it. The umpire will give us another ball up. Goldstein punches. Zebel with the pass. Keeps it close to the ground. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably the mind messes up more shots than the body. Anderson going for number one. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. That was a waste. They won't get on top kicking like that. 
Kennedy. May not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Core boots it, Kelly marks it. He kicks the ball. Ward slams the ball to his boot. Strong mark there. Whitfield kicks it. Lob with real good use of the body. Going for goal number one. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. Greater Western Sydney with the ascendancy over the Kangaroos, leading the match 91 to 58. A kick to himself and play on by Thompson. Almost a touch of synchronised swimming about that mark. That was the peg. North Melbourne haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. He kicks the ball. Hopper marks the ball. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Going for goal number three. Hopper goes goalward. It's true. That's number three. Greater Western Sydney leads by 39. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Lob, nicely outclassing Goldstein. Bumps the pigskin. He takes an uncontested mark. 30 metres out. Patton looking to add another. What a match he's having. Greater Western Sydney lead North Melbourne. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Goldstein taps. Has it now. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Lob. Wasn't even close to that tap and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. Pick up by Anderson. He handballs it. Weight is an absolute leather magnet. And for those who think there's no such thing, spare a thought for my wife and my wife. Kelly for the daisy cutter. Great grab. Zebu is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Anderson with a strong mark. Sending it on its way. A nice contested mark. If he sinks this, this is going to be a real morale booster for the team. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Goldstein with the tap. The umpire will give us another ball up. Claimed by Glob. Booted by Kelly. Delivio will be upset with that. Very quiet by his standards. He picked it up off the ground. Dishes it off to the running player. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. No one troubling him there. 30 metres out. He's kicking on about a 30 degree angle which could prove challenging. Giants by 35. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Goldstein really gets onto this one. With the ball now. Lob gets the ball. He runs for home. Sends it on its way. Hopper just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Kicks it. He gets a kick out of the pack. Cunnington claims the ball. Let's boot the ball. Tomlinson looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Well, when GWS were able to mark the ball inside their Ford 50 so easily, it's no wonder they're leading this match. North Melbourne really need to turn up the pressure. Atley takes the mark. He boots it. Lob with the ball. Sending it on its way. It's a mark. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Cameron takes a shot at goal. Gets the behind. Where to Western Sydney by 46. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time the Kangaroos stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. Puts boot to ball. Coniglio claims the ball. He gets boot to the ball. He gets it under pressure. He's got a hold of that one. Ward with good strong hands. Boots it. Marked by Delidio. 50 metres out. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Cameron looking for another goal here. He's driven that ball hard, but it's a miss. The Giants lead North Melbourne. He's searching for his teammates. He decides to play on. A talk from Thompson. Strong mark by Glob. 
Sends the Sharon on its way. Skelly going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. Coniglio presents and takes the mark. Richo now with his stats. Although GWS have had 19 handballs, the Kangaroos were on 16, which isn't much of a dip. It's almost over now. The game isn't over till it's over. Lob. Hardly provided a challenge. Tomlinson kicking the ball free of the pack. Nice work from Green. Gets boot to leather. Kelly, the better man there. Slams it on the boot. Cameron marks. Sends the Sharon on its way. Goldstein with the mark. Stabs the ball. He has space for an easy mark. Tarrant sends one up towards the wing. Shield takes it well. Jams it on the boot. Cameron alone for the uncontested mark. Cameron is very clever when dealing with tags. He loves taking heavier taggers that lack pace into space where a foot race becomes important. Coaches just love players like him. Lob sinks the long kick. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Goldstein with the punch. Clean tap by Wade. Jams it on the boot now. Taken by Brown. 35 metres out. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Batted down nicely by Glob. Tarrant throws the ball. Free kick. Pumps the pigskin. Shield has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Shield. has got a huge jump on him. Green with a strong mark. Sending it on its way. Cameron with the ball. Cameron lets fly with a shot at goal. Miss from behind. The Giants by eight goals. Thompson looking for a lead. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. 35 metres out. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. Give them a wrap and they'll let you down every time. You're right, Dennis. That is a letdown. Thompson has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Bumps the big skin. Clark ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. The bouncing ball is controlled. He gets another possession. Cunnington sticks out his hands and collects the ball. The umpire will ball it up. Goldstein put the tap. My ball says the umpire. Goldstein punches. Goes short with a hand pass. He's heading for home. A big kick by Zebel. Jacobs just gauging which way that wind is going. 40 metres out. A pretty safe bet from this position. Score for North Melbourne. That's number two. That's two in a row for North Melbourne. The margins closed a little, but they still have a long way to go. Lob. Aims for his man on the ground. Taron Campbell short. Cunnington with a kick out of the pack. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Like working in a telephone box. Look at him go. Like working in a telephone box. Look at him go. Sorry I spoke too soon. It goes across the line. One down by Goldstein. Zebel runs in. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. Fair to say that'll have little impact on the scoreboard. Davis has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. 30 metres from home. They desperately need this goal to stem the flow. They're doing some much needed plastic surgery to that scoreboard. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Claimed by Goldstein. He controls the bouncing ball. McDonald puts it on the boot. Ball goes over the line. The ball has been thrown in. 
Well, North Melbourne have been dominant in the ruck. They haven't been able to give their receivers first use of the ball, and that's why they're losing this match. And the ball goes over the boundary line. He knocks it down. He gets the loose ball. Kelly passes it. Puts the head down as he runs into goal. 30 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. Going for goal number five. The Giants by seven goals. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Goldstein gets the tap. Kelly boots it. Skelly with the mark. The Giants could taking their time and kicking to smart options inside 50, and that's having a real bearing on this match. Hopper picks it up, and the ball is out of play. Good tap from Goldstein. A rowback gathers it. Coniglio has caught him for holding the ball. Kicks it across the ground. Goldstein marks on the run. Goldstein feeds it wide. Takes that one strongly. Puts boot to ball. Long grabs that one. The ball is stuck towards goal by Long. He gave it a crack but it sailed wide of the goal. The Giants lead the Kangaroos. Thompson waiting to bring it back into play. McDonald made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Goldstein guides it. A favorable bounce. The loose ball picked up. Gets the loose ball. Tomlinson there to mop it up. Approaching the goals now. Williams, a good crummer, lobs the handball. Coniglio is getting the ball again and again. Sends it on its way. Cameron going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. The mark is taken by Long. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Get back in from this position. An ideal position to be kicking from. Cameron going for number four. He really should have made more of that. The Giants leads by 24. Thompson will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Controlled by Atley. He just can't get out of the action. Patton with the mark. 30 metres from home. A pretty safe bet from this position. Fantastic goal by Patton. That could be the final nail in the coffin. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Goldstein guides it. A favourable bounce. Tomlinson going for distance. Whitfield claims it. Sends it on its way. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. He's had lots of touches this match. Where to Western Sydney lead the Kangaroos. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but North Melbourne need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. GWS are in front. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Goldstein would have to be one of the most consistent performers in the competition. He's the type of player every coach loves to have in his side. Goldstein punches it. Tomlinson picks up the loose ball. He has clearly been shopping at Clangers or us. Ward picks it up. Grabs the footy. The umpire says, give it to me. Knocks it down in front. A short handball. Chips it down towards half forward. Whitfield picks up the bouncing ball. Pinpoint accuracy from Whitfield. The Giants could score the last three goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Goldstein has such great hands. He always gives his team first touch and he seems to always know who's in the best position to receive those clever touches. Lobb puts his boot on it. And the ball is out of play. Palm 
brings it down nicely. With the ball now. He has the ball. Cunnington is getting the ball again and again. Moves it quickly by hand. Tackled, but gets the handball off. Good mark by Wait. Bumps the big skin. Higgins with the mark. 50 meters out. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. That kick has gone well wide and hit the point post on the full free kick. Kicks. He wins the contest. GWS kept taking their time and kicking to smart options inside 50. And that's having a real bearing on this match. He comes off hands. Brown heads in for the goals. That was badly needed. Brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Lobb aims for his man on the ground, controlled by Coniglio. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. No, oh, no, we've got nothing but sympathy for a man who doesn't score. Way to Western Sydney, bite 58. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. That's a massive kick. Great mark. Brown sends one up towards the wing. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Rovac is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Oh, it's hit the post. Tough break. The Kangaroos still with some work to do to catch up with the Giants. Might have to kick it to himself. Davis playing on out of the goal square. Kicks it. He was never going to get that. He controls the bouncing ball. He has the ball. Haynes slams it on the boot. Zeebel ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. Nice mark there. Skellick with a low spearing kick. Gets boot to high. Well, football is a great game, but this has been an amazing game of football. Richard, what did you make of the final result? That's just heartbreaking for North Melbourne. So close, yet so far at the final siren. They can take solace from this loss, however, and look to rebound next time they take the field. They will hurt for now, though. Cheers, Richard. Final scores at the Giants, 147, the Kangaroos, 90. That's it for us. I will see you again, but not yet. Not yet.